responds after Alabama's former top law enforcement official accuses the governor of having an affair with a staff member. We're tracking these developments, plus the potential for severe weather tomorrow. Nate Harrington is in the Weather Center with a look at what could be ahead for central Alabama. But first, Mike McClanahan and Jamie Ostroff are live in Montgomery. They're following the controversy surrounding Governor Bentley and former Alabama law enforcement agency secretary Spencer Collier. We're going to begin with Jamie with the governor's reaction to these allegations of infidelity. Jamie? Sherry, Jim, good evening. Governor Robert Butley came right out and admitted that he knew about these recordings between him and his top advisor, Rebecca Mason. Now, he said these recordings were taken in 2014, and he admits that the statements he made in them were inappropriate. He says he has since apologized to his family, but that is pretty much where the admissions stop with the governor. You heard him earlier that uh, while those statements were inappropriate, he said he did not have a physical affair with Rebecca Mason. He then apologized to the public. As I say, stand before you and stand before the people of this state and say that I've made a mistake. I have made the mistake. And, and I'm just asking those that have been involved, including the people of this state, to forgive me. Now you're looking at Rebecca Mason now at the center of all of this. Now she did send out a statement, a written statement this afternoon, shortly after Governor Robert Bentley spoke there. She says Spencer Collier, quote, only said what he said about my professional abilities because I am a woman. So firing back there. Now she does not mention in this statement that I have in my hand here any sort of romantic relationship, physical or otherwise, with the governor. You can read this entire statement on our website, WIAT.com. We are live in Montgomery. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.